first question, what attracted you to the story? Uh, what attracted me to the story, a few different things. First of all, the people involved. Second of all, the subject matter. And then third, really, um, the way that the filmmakers, Tor, Nick, Pete and Mickey, wanted to go about talking about the subject matter and how they wanted to do that. That really pulled me in at the beginning because mental health, I think, is one of those things that you know, should be talked about much more than it is. And I think a lot of the reason for that is because people don't really know how to talk about it. It's still something that's uncomfortable and, and unknown. And, and that's, you know, very understandable. And I think it was clear to me that the intent behind this was, you know, hopefully educating people, but also doing so in a compelling way and making a good movie in the process. And, and yeah, so for all those reasons, I was really hooked. How did you prepare? Was it, were you doing it all on your own? Did you dig down with some research on mental illness? Yeah, no, definitely. I mean, that was, I, I quite honestly did kind of go, oh crap at the beginning because <laughs> for me, I think I knew going in, if, if I were gonna play this character and, and be a part of making this movie, I needed to know for myself that I really did everything in terms of research and, and in terms of trying to understand what this experience is like that I possibly could. Um, and so then that really started, of course, having conversations with Tor and, and kind of understanding the, the, the process he had already begun for himself and, and, you know, looping myself into that somewhat and then doing some of my own research. And he actually connected me to this psychiatrist who um, specializes in working with young men who have been recently diagnosed with schizophrenia and getting to talk to that guy then um, at length about, you know, the, the, what the experience of, of having a psychotic break is like, what the experience of uh, psychosis is like for the first time for somebody, how long it takes to understand these things. And then also in turn, you know, what his patients also are just kind of in the midst of in every other area of their life, you know, when it comes to their family, when it comes to relationships, like these are still 16 year old boys that he was talking about at the end of the day. And, mm -hmm. and you know, in a lot of ways, they don't want to think about this illness unless they absolutely have to. And they want to be thinking about their dreams and, you know, the people they have might have crushes on and stuff like that. And, and I think getting that, that bit of information too from that guy was so helpful in terms of reminding myself as an actor that it, it's so easy to, I think, get lost in the technicalities of what this illness might be and let that be the story rather than bringing it always back to a really human place with this character. And just rem rem remembering that this is a part of his story, but this illness is not the entirety of his story in any type of way. So you are obviously the central character. You're in almost every scene, if not every scene. What was it like working with your co-stars from Andy Garcia to Taylor, Molly, Walton, the hallucinations, the whole gang? The whole, the whole gang of everybody, I mean, really from the cast all the way through the entire crew, genuinely were so wonderful. And I think everyone had their own stake in the story as well, which just made it that much better. And it was such a kind of trusting, safe space to be in for that. And I think to be able to tell this story, you kind of need that. Um, and that was really set by those other actors just as much as anybody, but really like those guys like Andy, you know, like Walt and then Molly, who have been doing this for a really long time, showing up and just really knowing how to go about this and and just being really so helpful throughout um, for me because, you know, it is a lot to kind of go, have going on in my head all the time. And and the days were long. And, and even if you have the greatest team and greatest producers and all that stuff in the world, you know, it is what it is. And it can be really tough at times, but being able to look to them for support um, and then likewise, being able to look to like Pete and Mickey as well, like from all angles, having that there was so, so helpful. But they just bring such, such life to, to these characters in ways that I think are just essential to the story, um, especially with those hallucinations. Like, I think if you didn't have good actors playing those parts, they could so easily be written off. And because we had actors of that magnitude doing it, it really made a world of difference, I think. Right. I can only imagine what you and Devin went through, you know, with his more, uh, definitely he is a character, <laughs> but you know, is there one, two short stories from set that's a heavy subject, but was there any good times? 
definitely good times. Definitely good times that we had. I'm just trying to remember like a specific thing that was funny. I mean, honestly, yeah, getting to work with Devin, he was just always making me laugh. Just, I mean, he's a really funny person naturally, but then when he's showing up and he's just in the bathrobe and the boxers and, you know, he's very much in the spirit of the character. I think it was really hard to keep a straight face. And, and quite honestly, Andy as well. I mean, he would kill me. He would crack me up so much. And I think that was, that was also tough. Cause obviously again, like, you know, I think Adam is really for a lot of the movie in a pretty chaotic headspace. Mm -hmm. And so, and so having these guys that would, you know, accidentally pull me out of that with, with their charm <laughs> was sometimes, you know, tough, but, but, but well worth it in retrospect for sure. <laughs> no, that's great. Andy said he loved working with you and you guys did have a good time in that confessional, you know, take yeah, after take. So. I know. <laughs> he really would kill me with his little off <laughs> comments. It's just, just under his breath and stuff. <laughs> Not wanting to pry, but obviously one component of the film is about secrets. You have, you know, Adam has his secrets, Maya has her secrets. Looking back, is there anything from your childhood that was kind of, you thought, oh my God, if somebody finds out about this, my life is over type of scenario or is there uh, something I mean, like that? Yeah, I had such a specific upbringing in that I, you know, I started working when I was 10. And so I think I just kind of had a different, I mean, I, you know, I think I experienced the normal, like embarrassing things that people, you know, go through in growing up, but nothing that, nothing that ever felt like, oh my gosh, I have to hide this from uh, more even like, I think that, that more kind of manifested later um, for me because I wasn't really in that environment, in that school environment with kids. And I wasn't having to think, you know, I was just with my family and obviously, you know, they, they know everything about me better for worse. So, <laughs> so yeah, but I think later I've really been able to kind of, to learn that lesson and, 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 and have a better understanding of, of, of what, fear and what secrets can do to a person and, and for you what they can do like you know that that the idea of like oh I can handle this I can put up with this myself you know that yes that might be the case in one moment but how quickly that really um the curtain is really pulled away and what's revealed is just like you know that I think for me I, I really found that I was just really really scared and 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 I think accepting that and then being able to move on from that place and and, and doing so with the support of other people, which I think absolutely happens in the movie. I think that was what helped me so much. And, and that's really what happened with Adam. But I would actually finally say that it was, it was much closer to the experience of shooting the movie that I was learning those lessons than, than any time before. But Got it. I'm playing catch up a lot. A late bloomer. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Great. <laughs> no, thank you. And that kind of dovetails into this last question, which I'm sure you've been asked 20 times. But you know, in our new normal these days, there are reports and, you know, people are experiencing higher levels of depression, anxiety, just the population as a whole. What are you hoping in a positive sense from the film? What do you want audiences to take away from the film? I mean, I, I want them to take away. My hope is that they, they take away an earned sense of, of hope for themselves and for the people they love and for the, the future of the world, really. I mean, I think that's that's my hope specifically with this because I think this movie is really going after the topic of you know what we were just talking about in terms of secrets and shame that surround that and and that really everyone I think that's just a universal truth I think everyone in their own way experiences that and then of course yeah I think now connecting that back to mental health then and and how that can be compounded I mean if someone is suffering you know, then that that pressure to to hide that suffering, that pressure to to just seem like everything's okay, can just you know make it worse and worse and worse, and and go down this terrible rabbit hole. And so I hope this movie can be a lighthouse for people that might find themselves in a similar position, you know, feeling as though they don't have the safety, they don't have the the place to put those feelings and to put those fears and thoughts, that they might be able to find that somewhat in this movie, and then hopefully this movie just encourages them to to be able to make those connections in their own life as well. Cause I think that really is what, what helps Adam so much in the film. And I think that really helps everyone.